With the first preseason game days away in the NFL season right around the corner, the Philadelphia Eagles held day nine training camp at Lincoln Financial Field as a means of preparation for this upcoming season. Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown's connection seems to be even better as they are having an amazing training camp as the offense seems to still be intact with great chemistry. The defense, on the other hand, has tons of new pieces, so getting new defensive coordinator Sean Desai and new players on the defensive side of the ball on one accord is vital. Reed Blankenship has been awesome, picking off Jalen Hurts with an amazing diving catch and is slated as a starter. New linebacker Miles Jack is already getting starting reps. And last but not least, Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, and Khalid Ringo are getting quality looks and a fair shot at showing what they can do with Nolan Smith being moved all around the field in different positions. Full highlights, reports from training camp, and more. I'm Weapon X. This is the Voice of the Eagles show. And like always, God bless those Philadelphia Eagles. But enough of that. Play the video.
Jalen, we all talk about the relationship you guys had before you even got here. Mm -hmm. and the, but last year was your first year actually playing together. I'm hearing there's an added connection early in camp already with the two of you. Is that is that accurate? I would say so. You know, we're definitely pushing each other to get better. You know, uh, it's a standard that, that we abide by, and uh, we're not letting up on each other. So, uh, so yeah. So many people talk about you and Devontae mm -hmm. as a duo. What did he add to his game that you've seen in, in this camp? Devontae has always been slippery. He's just kind of, uh, <laughs> the route running has always been there. Yeah. Definitely say he's, he's just getting out of his breaks a lot faster. He's high pointing the ball. You know, you want to see that, you know, from a smaller receiver, you know, yeah. so. <laughs> but uh, yeah. his game is just steady evolving. I know a lot of people are excited to see what Swift looks like in this offense with you guys. What have you seen from him? Another wide receiver. Another <laughs> wide receiver. We, you know, we want him to. You know, we want him to get a couple, couple more handoffs to catches, but uh, <laughs> but hey, uh, don't take my target, man. <laughs> but he's doing, he's doing a great job, man. He's gonna be a, a, a big piece for us this, this upcoming season. Like I said, uh, he's another receiver out the backfield, man. He does a, a really good job. Okay, let's talk about Jalen Hurts for a second yep. here. What sets him apart? What sets his mentality? What you're seeing from just his work? Just Jalen Hurts this year. I'd like to give you something new, but it's still pretty, you know, pretty consistent with him. Uh, you know, for me, I just see a guy that works because, you know, when something's not right on the field, you know, he'll speak. He's vocal when he needs to be. And, uh, yeah, he just has a lot of poise, I, I would say. That's how he's Number 976 to you. What does that say to you? 976. Uh, I don't know. It's been 976 days since you've given up a sack. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Uh, you hear Jerry Jones? Saying we're about to take over Eagle Schmeagles, all this stuff. No, you don't listen to it. No, he's got the. God. Hey, I mean, it's good. I mean, everybody has that spirit now, but <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a long season, so you know, a lot can happen. Next year, what's one thing about this camp that is different than the ones prior? Two new offensive there's coordinators. Always, that sounds fun. Defense, you know, there's, it's just, there's a lot getting on the same page. As a head coach, you have requirements of what you want to see out of certain things, and, uh, and so it's just getting on the same page and uh, really like Sean and his energy and his uh, attention to detail and he's doing a great job. The lock screen is a big story. What does yeah. it say about Jalen that his lock that, screen that is the loss? That people got to be careful what they videotape in TV. <laughs> Back yes. to the lock screen. Uh, yes. Uh, what does it say about him? I think it just, I, I think it's healthy when you let things um, drive you. We didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish that game. And uh, and so he lets that drive him. And, you know, and, it, and I think that's who he is. That's who he is, right? He lets his his past things that he didn't like the way they worked out drive him. And uh, it just it just shows you how determined he is. He, he's a special guy, a great leader and a great player. And his leadership, his work ethic, his his demeanor, all those things, and that's special. We've got Brian Johnson, who I'm juiced about. because he's awesome. I mean, I don't know much about him, but I look at his work and what yeah. he's been able to do. And I look at, you know, the Anthony Richardson of it all, the Dak Prescott Heisman year. And then I look at two years of being the quarterback's coach for Jalen Hurts. Now he's going to be the play caller. What does he like as a play caller? People don't know he's done it at Florida. He was the runner up to the Heisman. <laughs> was it the, the lack of recognition you got in like defensive player of the year stuff? Was that insulting to you? I'm done talking like I have anything to prove to anybody. You know, my work, I, I've put enough work out there. I've put enough film out there, enough tape out there that my play now speaks for itself. I'm always worried about now, how can Hassan be better as a football player or a person? And how can I continue to help the team? Are you underpaid? Say it again. Are you underpaid? Y'all see it. Y'all know what's going on. I'm worried about being the best version of myself. I've shown one of the most elite, one of the best at what I do. You know, top five when you talk about Hassan Reddick. If I'm not in that category for you, then really no football. Some people are playing for a paycheck. Me, I come out here every day. I give my all. I go hard. I work. 
I, I want to be in the Hall of Fame. I want to be a decorated player uh, when it's all said and done for me. So Nolan Smith has been compared. Mm -hmm. Do you see those comparisons? Or oh man, love love the kid, man. He's electric. His intensity, his bend. You give me more time, he's going to get exactly where he's going to be, man, and have a lot of success in his career. Uh, he's been a sponge so far, soaking up every bit of in information that he can, which you you know I love to see. So uh, he has greatness ahead of him. Is Sean Desai in this system? Are you, are you going to be used the same way you were last season? I have spoken a lot with Desai, uh, and it's going to be some things that we do differently as well. Everything that I'm excited for, you know, I'm, I'm excited for it. It all sounds like good things. Um, sounds like ways that we can go out there and give offenses problems, and I'm, and I'm happy and I'm excited, and I can't wait to see that. Uh, a couple scramble drills out there. You're moving pretty, uh, pretty well out there. Uh, you also look a little svelte. You down a couple lbs. And same, same weight, uh, weighing around 222 every day when we step on the scale. The difference is uh, the 7.1 body fat. Brian Johnson's been a major constant in your life along yeah. the way. Just your relationship with him and how he's taken on this role now as the offensive coordinator. Yeah, it's been um, it's been a journey. It's been a journey, truly. I remember um, getting a call for him to be the quarterback coach first mm -hmm. after my rookie year, um, and then now to see where we've come. And you know, we're just excited for what's for what's to come. You know, I think when I talk about the identity of what this team is going to look like, what this offense is going to look like, everything is always evolving, right, and changing. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I used to go down that crazy list of, of all the OCs that I've had, and I guess you can add Brian to the list. Mm -hmm. um, so there is change and there is adjustment to get to, but um, we're all encouraged and we're all, um, you know, eyes forward and optimistic for what's to come. So.
Do you feel like at this point of training camp, do you feel the competition heating up, or has it always been there? For Everybody out here is trying to make a team, and you know, it really doesn't matter how good you are. I mean, you know, it's the best 11 guys are going to get out on the field, so I don't really think anybody is safe at any position. I mean, Kels might be Lane. That's that's. I mean, they're kind of given, but, you know, every, I mean, it's every day people are competing, trying to get better and, you know, move up in the depth chart. And it's, I mean, it's great to see because, you know, even, you know, we're, I'm competing with guys that are trying to take my job, but still going to meetings, trying to help these guys get better and develop. And it's really what it's all about because at the end of the day, you know, if, if I start or play or don't, I mean, it's all about putting the best guys out there and the guys that are going to win the game. So you actually don't so you do yourself? Like, you feel like you're fighting for a starting position even though you've been a starter the past two seasons. You always, you always have to. There's nothing set in stone out here. I don't – I mean, there's a couple guys, obviously, like I mentioned that are. But, I mean, honestly, every practice, every day you're getting evaluated, the way you come in the building, the way you carry yourself, the way you practice, lift weights, walk through. Everything's an evaluation on you know, who's going to be the best guys to put out there. And, I mean, at the end of the day, the best guys should be on the field. That's just how it is. So I feel like, you know, in your first two years, you never really kind of like praised yourself for a lack of better words. You always were, you know, critical of yourself and feel like you had to do better. Last year, you made the Pro Bowl. Do you feel like you've arrived or, or not really? Um, I mean, we lost the Super Bowl. I could, you know, and not to sound I'm not grateful about it, but I really care less about a Pro Bowl. Um, you know, Super Bowl means more than anything and I mean that's just how it is I mean, you, I mean if you want to sit around and guys get complacent I mean you think you're the best reporter out there exactly any of you guys think you're the best out there if you do props to you but at the same time like once you sit down and get complacent it's not a good place to be you you always have things you can work on and get better at and I mean that's exactly where I am extremely young player I still have a lot of things to learn a lot of things to get better at so how, is super how much of that is the room is the room itself though the standard that guys like Kelsey Lane Jordan said that no one's ever satisfied well I mean that I mean that's how it is every meeting I mean you said that like you know Kelsey and Lane have been doing this thing for a long time and they're sitting in there trying to figure out how to do things better how to work change this to you know block this pressure block this look or do this that or the other to make things better and I mean, just seeing that, you know, after over a decade of them doing it, they're still sitting there saying that's not good enough. That's that's not going to get, you know, not going to get us this, that, or win this game. I mean, that's it, really how it should be all the time. It's not. I mean, what we did last year means nothing. You know, it's, every season has a one-year expiration. I mean, just because we got to the Super Bowl last year doesn't mean anything for this year. So that's all it's about is just trying to get better every day. How vocal are you in that room? I mean, it's it kind of depends. Um if I see something that, you know, if we're watching film of the younger guys out here doing something and I see something that, especially like I messed up in the past or I see something that a guy may be like, you know, kind of going down the wrong way and, you know, before he gets hit by the bus, I'm like, hey, let's get back on the sidewalk. So, I mean, it's like you, you want to help guys like, you know, I've learned some, I've learned stuff the hard way and if I can keep guys from doing that, then that's good. And the best part is I can tell them, hey, you're doing this right now. If you want to see how it goes for you, go watch this game from last season, two seasons ago, and out of what that's going to happen to you. So, um, you know, being in there, being able to help those young guys and, you know, just talk through things, um, that's really what it's about. Like I said before, just trying to develop guys and, you know, make everybody better and get the best five for the offensive line on the field. Are you more vocal than last year? I would say so. I mean, you know, Last year, obviously, we still had Isaac, and, you know, I mean, <laughs> to you guys, probably not. Uh, Isaac, I mean, it, he's, he's missed around here. He was extremely intellectual, very good player, um, had a lot of knowledge to give to people. And, you know, lo losing something like that and a guy that knows the game uh, really well and has a lot of stuff to teach guys can be tough. And, you know, as you get more into your career, you end up kind of transitioning to that, and I think it's kind of where we're going. I still have a ton of stuff to learn, and you know, that's why I still talk to Lane and Kels and other guys, and even like when you know Brooks comes back to practice, and you know even talking to guys like joint practices after games, like it's all just trying to figure out like what I can change. You know, they I learn from them, they learn from me. It's it's all about just trying to develop. Piggybacking off of that, I noticed yesterday during one-on-ones, you were kind of you pulled Tyler aside and kind of gave him a couple pointers. Like, 
I guess, like, what are the ways you can help him? What's your relationship like, you know, with him so far? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, like, yeah, I understand he's a guard and yeah, he's got the opportunity to come and take my position. But at the same time, if, like, I'm seeing stuff where he's getting beat or anything that I can help him out with, I mean, at the end of the day, we're teammates. Like, and that's what it's about is, like, if I can help him, you know, solidify or refine something that I see is, like, you know, getting him beat or not letting him have the, you know, cleanest rep. I mean, that's really what it's all about. And, you know, if he sees something with me, like, that's the thing. It's just because I have, you know, two more seasons on him doesn't mean anything that I can't, you know, he may say something that I can learn from. So that's, I mean, it's really just kind of open discussion all the time and seeing what his thought process is when he sees stuff. Well, so at this point of training camp, do you see competition heating up? You know, it's the inevitable that cuts are coming. Guys are competing for starting jobs. Do you feel that growing or was it there since day one? I think it's always been here. It's kind of part of Nick's deal. It's always it's always competing, whether it's 53 guys already or whether it's 90. So um, you get you get that feeling in OTAs, but when the pads are on, I think it, it kind of heats up a little bit and it's, it's fun to watch. How's your camp going, man? You get, they're throwing a lot at you. You look up and you're out there with a clean slot and everything. Uh, it's going good. I mean, just learning from Avante, all the other guys, just taking it one day at a time, uh, trying to gain the trust of my teammates. Do you like kind of being having that positional versatility, being able to play outside, inside? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love it. I mean, wherever they need me to play, whatever helped the team, I mean, I'm going to do it. How big was last year just getting the experience of, of being here and being a part of things? And it's a different coordinator, but DK still here and yeah. similar scheme and everything. I mean, you just get – you got all the older guys who lead, and they've done this multiple times. They've done this, you know, like Fletch, BG. I mean, just learning from them. Also from the older guys in my room. So just getting that instilling of the Eagles defensive culture. I mean, yeah, I mean, that was a, that meant a lot last year. What's it like to have Bradbury Slay, uh, just to watch him every day, pick their brain, be in meetings with them, watching film with them and all that? I mean, they're totally two different players. So uh, JB, he asking a lot of questions. So I'm asking a lot of questions to him. Um, Slay, you know, very instinctive. So. I mean, I got the best, the best of both worlds. And then you throw Avante in there, too, at Nichols, so it just helps. What do you think you do well that made him kind of take a look at you in the, in the slot? Oh, no, that's a question <laughs> for you. I mean, I just try to come out here and do everything I can right and then just try to produce. You comfortable in there? Oh, yeah. Playing inside? Yeah, I am. How much have you done it, like, in school? Uh, You're talking about, like, at Clemson? Yeah. Uh. I played a little bit. I mean, they tried to let me at safety, nickel, but I ain't really playing their game for real. Well, they brought in DeAndre and mm -hmm. Rashad and, you know, Boston, Kenny and yourself are back and everything. But how competitive is that room? It's very competitive. I mean, uh, we all bring something a little different to the table. Uh, I mean, we're, we're all great athletes and, you know, we're, we're really pushing each other. And I do my best to take a little bit from, from each of them. And, you know, like I said, we're all great athletes and we're all out there competing. What, what do you think you bring to the table? that's different from, from mm -hmm. the other guys? Um, I, I just feel like my combination um, of, of size, speed, power, balance, <laughs> and, and I can catch very well. Uh, I feel like it's a, it's a little different. I mean, mainly just because of my size, but that's yeah. pretty much it. Can y'all feel that? Can you feel what's about to happen on this field, man? Can you feel what we're about to get into? They don't respect us. They don't know what our hood, man. That thing is beating your dog on chest right now.